Hi everyone, this is Eric from Dumb Game Dev, and today we're going to be looking at a paid third party asset and how to use it with Playmaker, and this is Smooth Scene Transitions. Why I'm using Smooth Scenes Transitions is it has a nice VR option, it's only $5 on the Asset Store, and it can work with any VR setup or it can also work with non VR and PC. We're going to look at how to quickly and easily use it with any VR setup, however, today. Now it is right here on the Asset Store and I've already imported it into my project and when you do so it will create two different folders and I've moved my Ketos Games, it'll install this one here called Ketos Games, it will also put something into your resources file under Ketos Games and we'll look at that uh, why in a moment. Now I've already made a Playmaker action for this, I will have in the description a download for the Playmaker action as well as a link to the Asset Store where you can buy this. Let's just fire it up and see what we can get going. I'm going to add a new empty game object and add a FSM to it. In that FSM, let's just add a little wait before we have a scene transition so that we can um, see it happen before we after we push start. So a quick wait. Well, I'd say two seconds. Add a little wait event there. Okay, so once you have this Playmaker action installed, you should be able to find it under uh, either Ketos Games or if you just search Scene Load, it will be there. And we can drag and drop this in. Now, what the Scene Load needs is the Scene Name by String. So we need to know what scene we're loading. I've just got a random scene open here, and I'm going to go to my project and find just another random scene that I have from one of my tutorials. And I have this one called, say, um, I just use this one called timer. So to do this, we need to make sure that we have this in our build settings and then in the scenes to build. Otherwise, we won't be able to transition to it. This is just like how it is with a normal Unity scene loading. So I'll grab this scene and drag it in. And then that's all we need to do for this. Now we should be able to go back to our game object, go to Playmaker, and add in the name of the scene. So be aware this is not actually going to work. I know it's not going to work, um, but we just want to try it so you can see this common problem that people run into. And you can see that it fades in and then it fades back to the same scene that we are in. And you're going to get an error down here that says scene loading could not be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings. So what's happening is if we go over to the project and we go down to resources, open this Ketos Games, Scenes Transitions, Prefabs, Scene Loader. What this Playmaker action is doing is calling on this scene loader, which needs to stay in your resources folder. So if you're not familiar, resources folder uh, loads things into your scene or your build without it actually being in the scene itself. So if that doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. Just make sure you keep it in the resource. It's not a big deal. And on it, it's got the options here for your scene loader. So you could set a different fade material. Um, the one that it comes with is just fine and dandy, so I'm not going to change anything there. I've ticked off VR support because I want to do VR. Okay, I want to use a scene for scene loading. So this is important for VR if you want to set something special up. And you can change your you know, your fade color here, whatever you want it to be. I'll change mine to darker blue. We have the fade seconds, how long it fades. Then we have the minimum loading, uh, minimum loading screen seconds. So this is how long, for the absolute minimum, you will be in the loading screen. Of course, if the, you know, the scene that you're loading is like huge, you know, it might be longer than this, but this will be the absolute minimum. And we've got fade in, fade out, and then I'm going to ignore time scale. So that means if my game's paused, it's still going to work. Okay, so I have all these checked off. Now what I need to do is get this loading scene and put it into my build because it's trying to use this as the in-between loading scene, right? And it gave me this error down here. So first we have to find it, and it's actually here um, in the Keto Games folder, scene transitions. It's in their scenes, and it's loading. You could make your own loading scene, but I suggest you just um, copy theirs and, and use that as the beginning. So we'll open up our build settings put in this loading scene, which is our in-between loading scene. Close that, and now let's try and do this again. So let's just look at our Playmaker here. Click Play. 
And it's going to wait two seconds and then hopefully do what we need to do. So there you go, now it's loaded these in between loading scene. And we did set this to 10, ten seconds, so we're going to be here for 10 seconds and then it will load our third scene, well, you know, the scene that we want to go to, really. And there we go, this scene happens to have a timer in it, so nothing special. Okay, so a few little tips about this. If we open up this loading scene, we can adjust what our in-between load scene looks like. It does not have to look like this. Okay, so if we leave the main camera, this probably won't work for VR. We need to kill this main camera and put whatever your VR camera is in here, right? So if you have a VRTK rig, you, you need to put the VRTK camera in here. If you have Oculus camera, you need to put in there whatever your camera may be. Otherwise, you know, most likely this main camera won't um, show correctly in VR. And you can put whatever you need in this scene wherever you want and put your camera wherever you want. So you can see it's actually, you know, just sitting there floating and you know this camera's background is just set by the background color you know so it could be changed and we could change it to a skybox and put whatever skybox we want in here and whatever else we want and then this will be our in-between loading scene so of course my tips to that is is don't put too much in this in-between loading scene otherwise you'll be loading the loading scene in between that makes sense. You'll, you'll spend so much time loading just this in-between scene, let alone the one that you want to go to. So keep it absolutely as simple as possible, you know, a few cubes or something and um, uh, a skybox or something like that. So there you go. That's how you use this uh, scene transition asset from Kidos Games in VR with Playmaker.